we're back with another episode of our mini jet build and let's get into it. So this time we last time we got a fuselage done and this time we'll get our controls and stuff. So we'll get some jet ducts. Delete that. And then we'll go from there. Spin that around. Wait, no. Get rid of that. Flip it and spin it. There we go. Um, go inside here. And we'll delete the appropriate amount of stuff that we need to um, delete in order to make this thing work. So this will either be powered by a regular door intake engine or it might just be a single powered engine. It just depends how what we can fit into the back of this aircraft without it flipping, breaking or exploding. So get our jet dot cross and we'll attach it to here. I want to find the space that is. Symmetry off. There we are. Um, send it all. Delete that, delete that. I'll get rid of that. Um, Alright, how are we going to do this? We'll delete that, 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 and that. And then we'll move from there. So we'll spin, we'll get our, com um, our compressor, no, we'll get our turbine, but we have to put the small one, put that in there, we'll get our combustion chamber, and put that in there, yeah. I can't remember, do I face these forwards backwards, I think we do them backwards, anyway, um, oh, there's not enough room. That's an issue. I have an idea, so if we get a small turbine, delete that, delete that, delete that, put that there. And then get a T duct. Oh well we didn't do it on the other side. Um delete that, delete that, get that. Um Um, spin that. Oh, we'll just put it there for now. I uh, will spin the, that one around in the next episode. Um, we'll get the T ducts. Um, that's attached to there. And then we'll go from there. So, we'll get our jet compressor, put that in there. We'll delete that. It's just too big. And we'll get a small turbine. Oh, no, we'll get a combustion chamber, because we already got the turbine in there. Um, well, generator, I think, there. I'll check, and then, yep, we'll make sure the pipes are facing up. Just double check that that's in the right orientation. Yeah, it's all good. Um, all right. So now that we've got that, We'll add in our, um, oh, wait, we'll go to the back. Now we'll add in our, um, what's called jet exhaust. We'll add that on there. Nice. Um, now we'll delete the back and the tail. And we'll go get our fin rudder. Right, and slap that there, there. Done. Um, Return to symmetry, I'll leave it for now. Delete that. Get some little turn symmetry on, and then we'll put positive gone down, I believe. Um, if I need to change this, I will later. But yeah, positive going down, and then we'll work on the back of this. So we will grab, put that there, put one at the top. 
I'm gonna work off that. So this is gonna be like a T144 style afterburner looking engine back part. Whatever. Um just depends how we're gonna do this. Um since after all, I'm usually a template user for these larges. Apart from this massive tragedy I'm building, which I'll link in it. I will link in my workshop page because it is under the TFJ 300 or it might be the 100. Um, um, that's an aircraft I, did, I made up with my friends last year. So, oh, should we add that? No, we'll get, we'll, we won't do that. We'll delete that. And we'll leave that there. So it's like an overhang. We'll get our wedges. Why am I t typing up windows? Um, no, we need our wedges. We get the 1x4. Put Slap that on now. There. there we go. Um, perfect. Now all we need to do is we'll we'll paint the back. So we'll do like a nice dark grey strip that goes across there. Turn around the camera, put that across there, across the outside of the engine. And we'll fill the inside in with the pitch black. And just make sure we got everything. And then we'll, there we go. Um, that looks nice. So now we'll paint the front of the engine, I guess. Um, we'll use the same shade and then we'll go along the front. Paint down and then we'll paint the inside area. Paint all across there. Get everything we can see. Make sure it look, not, looks all nice. Make sure we get in all the nooks and crannies. Um, go on through here. Let's turn around. Oh yeah, we don't have that side yet. So, um, how we're going to do the wing is a bit questionable, but it's hopefully going to work. Uh, we'll, we'll turn that to white and then we'll get our wedges. Yep, there we go. Um, how are we gonna do it? Yeah, we'll probably do it so the engine's sticking out a little bit, maybe. I mean, I kind of want it to stick out. But we might not be able to. Depends. No, we'll make sure it's... We'll make it look like it's sticking out. I reckon this, this'll look fine. Um, uh, we can't do it there. Uh, so... Place that piece back in there and we'll get our wedge. Spin that around, place it there, delete that, and we'll go from there. So, um, yeah, hopefully, we'll have more builds um, coming out soon, or we um, will have more of the Island series, uh, Yacht series, and then obviously the last episode of the Jet coming out soon, or last two episodes. I hope. I still gotta film the last episode. Um yet to come. Alright, so fill in the wing. Fill in that. Delete that and put in delete all that. Oh um and put that back. And then Maybe we'll extend the wing backwards with the wedges. So, um, spin it around. And there we go. Nice. Even just that one makes a nice little change. I'll delete that and curve it off the wedge. Um, I reckon that looks fine. Make sure we get in our fins there for our ailerons. Um, yeah, we'll get our fin, fin rudders and we'll go 
on this side will go positive facing um, up and, and on this side will go positive facing down. Symmetry back on. It's looking nice. Um, um, alright. It's a bit windy outside. Um, now we'll work on the bottom of the wing. So we'll seal off the engine. Um, at, like so. And then we'll get... Um, now we won't do it like that. We'll do it... Uh, how, are we gonna, how are we gonna do it? It's gonna be like a very confusing weird design. If I'm gonna be honest, um, I have no clue how this is gonna turn out. But um, let's get our pyramids, I guess. Maybe that'll work. Pyramids, it's gonna look really, really funky, but funky and clunky. All that, um, there's all that body stuff. Um, um, yeah, it would, sure, it would look fine if it's sticking out by one, I reckon. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll look too bad. Um, it might even look like we've got a bit of slat or slap um, on the wings. And let's go spin that round up there. And then we'll probably just finish off the wing about there. Place that there. And then we'll just um, fill it in. Why am I doing that? Need that. Spin that around. Place that there. And then we'll add on to there. Now we'll also definitely add lights. So, uh, you know, that block right there is where we'll add, we will add a spotlight. So there. Um, maybe we'll add some navigation lights, which we'll paint probably in the next episode. Navigation slash formation lights. Put one up at the top. Um, get an room on the front, um, maybe one on the back, yeah, right there. So, navigation, beacon, strobe, and formation lights, because it's probably be more of an acrobatic aircraft, um, than a fighter jet, or, like, ac acrobatic, or training. Anyway, so, delete that. Now, we'll add a pivot. And we'll make the canopy a, or a button. Should we add, yo, oh, how are we gonna do this? We'll add a pivot there. Um, mm. All right, how are we gonna do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Let's see. Um, I reckon we'll add the pivot on this side, and that way the canopy will open sideways. We might add it, change it in the future, but who knows? Who actually knows? Um, go to that. Add the button. Toggle button. And then we'll turn symmetry back on. Get, select the canopy. Uh, I've just seen a potential issue. Potential issue. Um, that little nook in the um, top of the cockpit windshield is going to interfere, so we'll fix that later. Probably next episode, to be honest. Um, anyway, we 
we will delete. Oh, how are we gonna do this? Yeah, like that. There. Delete that. Delete that. And delete that. All right. Um, put that there. It might sound a little funny. We just got a plane taking off, and I live right by the airport. Um, I see a New Zealand day three twenty two. So seal that off. Probably put this as a battery logic kind of bay, and then we'll have fuel tanks somewhere else. Maybe in the wing or something. Um, constant signals. We will make sure we'll set that to one. That was zero point seven five. Um, how we go? How else are we gonna do it? Um, I'll connect the button to what we need a switch box. Um, don't we? Oh, it's gonna be a pain. I've done this before. And I've gotten it's been so long since I've done any logic. Since I've been playing all these other games. Um well, but you know. Anyway. Um let's go. We'll change it so we'll set the on value. Oh no, we'll change the constant number. On value to the first value will be to the on switch value will go to there, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there. Hmm. I have not done logic in forever. We'll set the switched value um, to the pivot. Yep. Um, so it's not directly connected. Um, I need it one. I'll upload this to the workshop either next episode or episode after. Oh yeah, I forgot we did it in the little harbour. Oh, uh, no clip all the way over to the hangar. All the way over here. Where are we? There's the workbench. And we'll load it up. We'll load it up. Mini Jet 1 or auto save, I guess. And we'll spawn that in. Obviously, we'll add gear, but, um. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Um, the canopy gets a little stuck. We'll either fix that this episode or next episode. I don't know, we'll just, yeah, we'll just try to fix it. Mm, a bit tired. Anyway, we'll try and fix that. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Um, also, if you're still watching, please just comment um, anything, anything you want to see me do, anything I can do to improve my channel. And I'll do it. I enjoy reading comments and stuff. It's it's really good. Alright, so I'll paint it. We'll go with like a frantic red. Um I've seen Frantic, he's done a few builds. Um or with it when he paints his builds he usually goes with the frantic um red. And I actually really like the red that he how he uses it. And I reckon it'll look good for like a training jet or a stunt jet. And what's so paint just trip around there? Wait, what? Oh, you know what? We added symmetry later. We got we gotta delete that, delete that. And there we go. Now we got a doodish. Yeah, we'll, we'll paint. Yeah, we'll paint the tail. Um, a beautiful friend at grid. We'll suit this jet. Um, 
Hmm. How else do you think I should? Um, that that's enough. If there are any features you want to see? Um, please comment them. I will read the comments as I always do. Um, seriously, I enjoy I enjoy reading comments. Um, for some reason, all right, we'll just add. We'll add this weird logo thing I just like. I like doing that for some reason. So we'll do it down there as well. Put it there. And maybe we'll, yeah, we'll do it on the main one. I don't know, I just like that. I like that shape, but just, it reminds me of like planes for some reason. Anyway. We'll, I was going to go with the Christmas screen, but no, that looks kind of ugly. Um, yeah, it's probably just going to be a, a red, black, grey and white build. Um, if I'm going to be honest. Spawn it in. Um, yeah, I reckon it looks good. Um, yeah, we'll fix the cockpit next episode. Um, and I will probably create this as a on the playlist. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.